Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's uh, get into it. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, let's see what's going on for you Sag. Right. What is happening for the Sagittarius? Uh, the Page of Wands, so getting some good news. Uh, good ideas also. Something could pan out, it could not, it could fizzle out. Um, make sure that you ground this in something. Some of you are coming out of a real tough time, a real heavy, burdensome time, maybe doing a lot of work. You could be, you could have been doing a lot of work because, you know, you were successful. Sometimes you can, you know, kind of crack or um, be burdened by, you know, your own success here. Um, but you're coming out and now you're able to kind of live life on your own terms, do your work on your own own terms you've kind of gotten maybe a routine or schedule in terms in place so that you can move forward and things are good something you can work with children the page of wands here okay or something about children um some of you could have been traveling or see something that your, your child posted or is posting you know you're concerned about that what is the advice here for Sagittarius? Some of you are dressing different. Uh, you're going to get a makeover with the Page of Wands or someone's getting a makeover. Let's see. The King of Cups came out. All right, so that's the advice for you. Um, it says that some of you need to, you know, you might be kind of dipping into spirituality. Maybe some type of culture. You're dealing with somebody who does like some type of magic or, or type of spell work or you may even be going to someone who can do that for you. It, it looks like it has something to do with love or devotion or getting someone to, yeah, getting someone, this is like a potion of the temperance card that could be you going to someone to get someone to create you a potion or this is what you're doing. You, you are tired of fighting for this person's affection, attention, you want to take it. Queen of Cups, yeah, in terms of a relationship here. It's like um, there is love here or likeness here, but you want it to be more, you know, grounded, concrete. You may, you don't want this person to marry you or, you or just new marriage or new love or something like that. And it's like somebody's really trying to solidify it by way of spell, work, potions, doing some type of ritual. Let's see, what is the outcome here? What's the outcome for Sagittarius? What's the outcome for Sag? What's the... Okay. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants you to fall in love with them or stay in love with them. It's like somebody's still too guarded or someone's still too cautious or someone, you know, still has their guard up again. Somebody also is not ready for love. It's like someone is still flighty or still on conquest, still seeking other. There could be another woman involved here. Another energy. Or somebody could even be trying to take somebody out of their relationship or trying to do spell work or magic to take someone away from their relationship that they're devoted to. You know, trying to get someone to, you know, move away or to um, engage with them. Somebody is definitely fighting for what they want in some type of love affair. We do see the counterparts, the king and queen of cups. So we have a relationship and then we have someone here on the outside, someone who is committed to the fight. To getting what they want so um yeah we've we've got somebody here who is uh ready to <laughs> they're doing spell work and they're trying to you know cause all kind of conflict confusion there's also a relationship here but there's a, a somebody that somebody desires on the outside of the relationship and maybe somebody is like Trying to get some spell work happening so the other person doesn't desire this person. It just reads as messy as fuck, you know, and just, you know, very immature. That was the first card that came out of the Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like someone's trying to get someone's trust. It's a trust that the universe is working things out the way they're supposed to go. But it's like somebody's really trying to, you know, get someone's devotion. We talked about that. Get someone's trust here. It's unlikely that it's going to work. Yeah. Someone's taking matters in their own hands. It's up to you. 
this is what I have for you, uh, Sag. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you feel like you need protection, get one of the black tourmaline bracelets. You can also get the amethyst bracelet. Um, so it's also for healing, you know, friendship, self-love. Um, maybe even prosperity also. Uh, this is what I have for you. Take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.